Hello Linux fans, Rob here and welcome to Linux Quest. So if you follow this channel and you follow the Linux world, you know by now that Linux Mint 18.2 Sonya has been released. Now this is a beta, so this isn't the official release. Now I wouldn't call this a monumental update or anything like that. And since this is beta, I'm actually not going to do a full on review or overview or anything like that. This is a little different. Um, I went back through my videos and I was kind of surprised to find that I haven't done, um, at least in, in a long time, a full on, I'm going to run it as a daily driver, Linux Mint proper, which is with the Cinnamon desktop. There have always been small things about the Cinnamon desktop that kind of, I don't know, bug me, I, I would say. I want to point out a couple of those things, but I've got to point out to you how quickly and easily I got this particular version set up for you know my taste. Um, and I'll just kind of go through those, but really why I wanted to do this video is to kind of share with you what my plans are. I decided I want to give Linux Mint Cinnamon a truly fair shake. So I am going to commit myself from the beta on to run this as a daily driver uh, all the way through till the official release. And I think that is a fair way to kind of step back, reassess, uh, give it a, a true fair shake and be really engaged into not only the desktop but the operating system and then come back with a review. I have decided that that's exactly what I'm going to do. So this has been installed on my main machine, my main partition, and uh, this will be used day in, day out until the final release. And then I'll determine from there, you know, if I'm just going to continue on with it. So I want to talk just quickly about a couple of little things that have always bugged me about Linux Mint. And I'm not discrediting it as a excellent GNU Linux distro. Uh, there's, you know, got to be reasons why this has been number one on um, distro watch. It's about how do you forget distro watch? Number one on distro watch for the last 43 years. Okay, I'm kidding. It hasn't been 43 years, 56. Okay, no, I'm kidding again. But anyway, so it seems like it always winds up at that number one slot. And there's a reason. I mean, it's got a huge following. And uh, for someone who is a desktop user, I see the appeal here. All right, some of the things that have always kind of bugged me. Now, these are little nitpicky things. These aren't, you know, real world OS issues. First of all, this Linux Mint icon has always bugged me to no end simply because of its odd shape and coloring. And I just, I've, I've never liked it. So, okay, yeah, that can be solved pretty easily. I did that here in the menu because the Linux Mint icon here in the menu to me has always just looked completely bizarre, completely out of place to me. Now, again, to each his own as far as taste is concerned, I just wanted to share with you some of the little bug things that really have bugged me. But you can just simply right-click and go to Configure, turn on Use Custom Icon, and you could change this name from menu even if we wanted to say go, for example. So we could hit go and you'll see that that's changed. So got rid of that, no problem. The other thing that I've never really been impressed with is the selection of default wallpapers. Now wallpapers are incredibly easy to change. Uh, you can certainly put your own favorite wallpaper on there. But for the first time I think ever, within Linux Mint, I was able to find a built-in, I think, simply gorgeous wallpaper. And that's this kind of gray. It goes from a dark gray down to a lighter gray with this almost silver, albeit odd-looking icon. Uh, but it really looks nice with the default Linux Mint theming that's in place. Now, the third thing that's always just, again, a little bit of a irk, I guess you'll call it, is the green theming that's in place uh, default. Uh, you know, and I never was that impressed with the look of the icons, but that is easy enough to change as well. Um, so we're going to go into preferences and we're going to go to themes. 
And this is the area where I went in and I just I kept it with Mint X. I changed the icons to this beautiful Mint Aqua. And I just want to point that out within Nemo. Turn the controls to Mint X Aqua. Nothing with the mouse pointer and left it uh, set on Linux Mint for the dark bottom panel. So that took care of that. I quickly added this uh, desklet here, this clock. Kind of gives it a nice look, again, to each his own there. And then the last thing that I did was just a few tweaks here to the system tray. I removed the Bluetooth icon for the system tray. And then there's a user icon, which I also removed, uh, because you can quickly get to, you know, quit, log out, and lock screen from the menu launcher. Now that's another area where I used to just, for whatever reason, the menu launcher bugged me. Um, I've come around to it more as I've started to really explore different menu launchers. And so as I've started to kind of dig into this one a little more, it's really not that bad. Um, you know, I'm coming around to it. So those were some of the little issues. But some of the things that I'm seeing here now that I really, really like is, well, let's just jump over here, the default icon set. Now, again, this is aesthetics. This is looks. I get it. Um, but I just want to point this out here. This is, to me, one of the most attractive, professional-looking set of icons within the File Explorer that I've seen in a long time. Uh, it's on par with the default icon set within KDE. And... I didn't have to do anything. I didn't have to change anything. They look professional. Uh, I'd like to see some scaling here where, you know, various icons match each other in size. The folders kind of always stand out, though. They're always a little different than um, the rest of the icons sometimes within, you know, various themes. But this looks fantastic. Now, I've increased the size here just for the video purposes. So, really, that's all I had to do is it was a quick change of the default wallpaper. Uh, a change over to the mint teal colors within the folders. And I mean, I don't feel like I need to tweak this anymore, which totally surprises me. So what I'm going to do is dig through this, uh, really set it up and use it for everyday use for everything from word editing to video editing to filming videos like I am now. Uh, basically everything that I would typically use my desktop for, I'm going to put this through the paces. Uh, and then once it's finally released, I think I'll come back and do a thorough in-depth review. So just wanted to share that with you because if you'll look back through my videos, uh, Linux Mint Cinnamon Proper, uh, I don't think you're going to find it. Or if, if it's in there, I missed it or totally forgot about it, one or the other. So uh, stay tuned and we'll see how things go. All right, that's it for now. We'll check you later.